In this video, I'm going to show you how you can subscribe to RSS feeds and read them in an external reader. Now, the reason you might want to do this is if you follow several blogs or forums or any type of news site. A lot of sites now have RSS feeds. Now, it allows you to subscribe to these sites and read their content without actually having to visit them. It also allows you to gather your content all in one place and not have to visit all over the internet to read all the blogs you want to read. For instance, if you had a list of 20 blogs that you regularly read, you'd have to go and visit 20 blogs and then dig through the material that's new. With RSS, you can take all the RSS feeds and you can put them in a reader and have all your content in one centralized place and then you can read it at your convenience. Okay, so let's get started here. When you go to your favorite sites, if you see something like this, subscribe to, with a reader, subscribe with RSS, or something like that, and you see this symbol, that means that they have an RSS feed. And if you click on that, many times you'll see something like this, and it'll have a bunch of readers that you can use up here. And you can also choose from a list down here. Now, you may or may not see this. Uh, I'll show you how you can subscribe directly to a reader by using this method and then I'll show you how you can do it the manual way. Okay, for instance, if you wanted to read everything in My Yahoo, if you have a Yahoo account, you can just click on the My Yahoo button here. Okay, and it comes and it puts the content up here for you. This is the content from that RSS feed. Now what we can do is we can sign in uh, first we say we're going to keep it and that tells us that we have to sign in so that we keep the content otherwise we might lose the content when we sign out okay so all you have to do now is log into your my yahoo account right here and there it is right here in our reader as well as the other content that i've subscribed to in here so all you have to do now you can read all the content without leaving your site. You just click on the content you want to read. It brings it up in your browser just like this. You can read the content in here. This one points at a video. You can watch the video just by clicking on the link. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Okay, let's just remove this from here. Options remove. Now I'll show you how you can add it manually into your feed reader if they don't have the option to subscribe directly with a reader like we saw there. If they didn't have those options inside the feed, all you have to do is right click on the link here, copy link location, and that'll copy the link of the RSS feed. Then you can go back into whatever reader you choose and you can add content. Now I'm just showing you Yahoo Reader. They all work basically the same. They look a little different, but there's a place where you can add an RSS feed. Okay, so we'll paste our RSS feed in there and we'll add. Okay, click I'm done because that's all we're going to put in here. And as you see, our RSS reader is now updated. Okay, so we can click on what's in there. And again, it brings us up the content just like before. And we can zip through it on the side here as well. So that's how simple it is to subscribe to RSS feeds and to read them in an RSS reader.